What's up YouTube? This is the Longboard Rider coming at you. It's been pretty flat, no waves, so we're going to do a quick video tutorial on how to add additional fonts to your iMovie project transitions. iMovie 09 comes stock with fonts, but what I'm going to show you will allow you to add additional fonts to your your transitions. So with that said, of course, you, you have your various transitions in, in iMovie 09. Um, for example, uh, we'll take up full focus and we'll see that we, we have the ability to be able to change the backgrounds for this particular transition. And with that said, um, you'll have your fonts um, for each transition. And in iMovie 09, when you click, a box will come up to show you your font and your selected theme, as well as show you a box that you can click on, um, which will have the by default fonts um, for your choice. I've changed um, my fonts, which we'll show you, but once you change your font, you'll be able to add additional fonts to your selection as well. So, for example, here's Area Bold, and you'll highlight Area Bold, and then you can large or small the, the font accordingly, or you can move your font over to the right, left, center, or whatever the case may be. You have your bold, your italic, and your line bold. So what I do is when I want to find additional fonts I'll click on this tab right here system front panel. By clicking on that it will bring up your entire Mac Apple library of fonts for you to change. You have all fonts, English, favorites, recently used, fun, modern, etc. You have your bold, italic, underline, center, left, right, etc. Just as you would find on your toolbar on your Mac. So we'll go ahead and we'll just choose all fonts. And with that said, when you scroll down, after highlighting the section in your, in your theme, when you scroll down, you'll see the, the fonts change accordingly until you find one that you prefer to use. We'll go ahead and, and click this one and let's just say that we want to bold it or make it larger. You can also use your scroll bar on this side. So once we've selected the font, we'll make this a little smaller. Once we've selected the font, again we can underline it, bold it italic, We'll hit, we can hit done, but what I always hit is um, iMovie front panel, which brings us back to the colors, where I can now change the color according to my, my needs for my project. We'll go ahead and we'll just choose yellow, and I can always uh, make some more changes on the, the front panel as well. But going back to your default fonts which you have loaded will of course change it back to the original text selections in the event that you don't like um, what you've chosen from using the the system front panel so once you find the, 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 the font that you like the size and the color you'll just go ahead and click done and then that will be a new font selection for you for your iMovie 09 project the same thing will apply with, for example, this particular theme right here. I'll go ahead and highlight it. Your inspector will pop up. Of course, you'll hit Done. Show fonts. Again, it'll bring me back to the default font screen. In order to highlight the font and change it, I'll, of course, need to highlight it. And go through the same process. Um, of finding the font that I'd like to use for this particular project. 
So this way you can enhance your iMovie project and not be stuck with the default fonts which come preloaded. We'll just select, let's say, this particular one. Again, back to iMovie front panel, choose a color, and then you'll just click done. It's that simple. You can, of course, preview your font, or you can preview your font from the project library. Same thing applies to this particular transition. I'll go ahead and highlight this. I'll click Done, Show Fonts, and again it brings me back to the default setting where I can change my fonts here, or I have the option to click Front Panel. And again, going back to All Fonts, highlighting the fonts allows me to scroll down and make any changes that need to be made for my particular project. And that's it. That's just a little quick tutorial on how to add additional fonts to your iMovie project. And I will be doing a video tutorial over the next few days on how to change colors and to take your iMovie projects to the next level. This is the Longboard Rider. I hope you enjoyed my video.